Shockwave lithotripsy is a surgical procedure in which high energy shock waves are transmitted through water and directed at the kidney to break the stone into smaller pieces. This makes it easier to pass them through the urinary tract. Shockwave lithotripsy is an outpatient surgery and you'll go home the same day. For this procedure, you'll have general anesthesia, which means you will be asleep during the surgery. If you are on blood thinners, you must be able to stop taking them before this procedure. After the procedure, you may have discomfort, flank pain, bruising, nausea and vomiting, and blood in your urine. You may also pass stone fragments for several weeks. The benefits of shockwave lithotripsy are that there is no incision and the risk is low. The success rate of this therapy depends on several factors, including the size and hardness of the stone and the patient's body type. Your doctor can provide you with your likelihood of success with this treatment. These are the risks of shockwave lithotripsy. You may need a second procedure, such as a reteroscopy, in order to clear all the stones. There is a 1 in 1,000, or 0.1% risk of serious bleeding. If this happens, you would need a blood transfusion. There is a 1 in 100, or 1% risk, that you will need a second procedure, such as a stent or ureteroscopy. There is a 1 in 100, or 1% risk, that after the procedure, you will have severe pain that would require immediate medical attention. And there is a small risk that you will get sepsis, which is a serious infection. You can usually return to your normal activities two days after a shockwave lithotripsy procedure.